from around the entire world. We're in Sydney Harbor right now on a yacht. I know it sounds a little bit excessive, but we are enriching lives and we're doing it in an incredible way. Intellectually helping people grow and make money in the stock market. Enjoy the stock review. You are phenomenal. Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's me, Ricky Cadden, back again from Real Life Trading Australia, bringing you your Thursday Real Life Stock Review. Let's dive in. The SPY, now we did mention last, uh, two days ago, that we would potentially get a filling of this particular retest gap here. Shocking. We actually filled that gap. Um, but we didn't get a close, a very strong close below the 10 EMA, which does make a lot of sense. We are still in a bullish trend. Um, I'm not super bearish at the markets, bearish on the markets at the moment. I do believe that this was just a short term bearish pullback. However, I am still looking to buy the dip. If you take a look at the E minis, we are currently bouncing off the 10 EMA on the daily chart and we are still slowly but surely grinding higher. The Dow Jones not doing a great deal, still haven't got a strong close below the 10 EMA. So if we can get a nice gap up above this candle, that would be an absolute superb day trade. So for all you day traders out there, keep an eye on the DIA for a nice little bullish pop tomorrow being Friday. And the IWM, not a whole lot happening here, guys. I did mention that we could potentially get into a bear, uh, bear call spread up here. Um, but at the moment, we are just chilling, chilling at the resistance, which makes an absolute ton of sense. And you can see here, we haven't closed below the 20. We are still holding up quite nicely at this resistance level. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. We could potentially bounce on out of here and keep cruising on higher. Let's take a look at a couple of stocks that moved today. And there was AMD, uh, so AMTD, which is Ameritra uh, TD Ameritrade, uh, off the news that they were going to buy, uh, be bought out by Charles Schwab. Now, as you can see, we did get a retest gap, but what's interesting, guys, we actually did gap up 25%. So if you did buy shares in TD Ameritrade yesterday, you would be up 25%. So that was the reason for this very large sell-off that we did have here was a very, very easy fade to get. I didn't partic I didn't particularly play this trade, but if I was in shares, I would have been taking my profits off the table as well. So TD Ameritrade, just trading sideways at the moment, just chilling. And uh, most likely, we'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens over the next coming days. So SQ, another one of everyone's favorites right now, uh, SQ, we are getting some nice bullish poppage right now. And what's interesting is we did finally have a strong close above this particular high, uh, high wave candle after earnings. Now, if we can continue uh, to close above the 20, there is absolutely no resistance in the way at all to fill this particular gap, guys. So keep your eyes on SQ. We mo most likely, if we do come up to the to, to the 200 simple moving average will probably pause for a little while, uh, but then I do expect that particular gap to fill. Now let's talk about a uh, couple of, uh, one of the weed stocks here. Now ACB, uh, there was a beautiful, uh, glorious bounce that we had just three days ago with huge volume. A lot of real life traders did get to play this in the trading room. And if you take a look at the five minute uh, there is only one way to have played this particular trade. So two days ago, you can see here, what is this? It is a it is a bearish five minute high wave candle. Entry at the top here, stop below here, and there is your trade right there. And then not only that, it happened the next day again. So it actually happened today. Here we had another bearish high wave candle, entry, stop, and there was just another beautiful three, four hour trade there as well to uh, for the taking. So if you do, if you guys did get to catch that, I know a lot of, uh, a lot of real life traders did. Uh, so congrats to you guys. But um, yeah, ACB, 
we are at a very big low at the moment you can see on the weekly chart this is a previous resistance level right here and we are creating a very nice trapping candle nice little bounce uh, right now so most likely what I expect on the daily chart here guys I do expect us to probably have a small little pullback um, at some stage if we do come higher I do expect us to slowly bounce I don't think this is just going to be something that launches out of there um, but I do expect a pullback to about 259 and then uh, look to go higher if you've been following my trades for the last couple of months you've noticed that I have been speaking about uber and I did mention that this was most likely going to be the low um, uber is starting to pick up some steam and I do believe that we will slowly but surely grind higher and they will be a very strong contender in the future uh, great company I use them personally I know they are currently hemorrhaging a lot of money but Uber is still a great company. <laughs> I, I, there's not a lot we can really... They, they, they still make money. I know they do spend a lot. Um, but just like Amazon and all the other big companies, we they're all, they're all just investing money back into the business to help grow and hopefully create some exponential growth in the future. Let's take, so, take a look at some Aussie stocks. We'll look at the All Lords first. Now, I did mention that we would probably come back uh, to the 100 simple moving average and most likely bounce. So if you did get to catch this particular short or this particular bounce, then well done to you guys. We are still uh, we are still in this nice little ascending wedge and I do expect us to slowly, uh, slowly break out. Here's Treasury One Estates. Now, if you are in long-term positions, we are at a very nice selling location we are struggling to get above this 1914 level and if you are in long-term shares you could also look to sell an option at around $19 uh, 19 or 1950 uh, but other than that guys we are just going to be trading a little bit sideways here on TWE so I'm not overly bullish but eventually we will go higher Let's take a look at West Farmers, ticker symbol WES, and West Farmers still creating some new all-time highs uh, like we did just at the start of the week. And right now we are <laughs> right now we are just pausing. Uh, makes a lot of sense here, guys. We have had a pretty pretty decent move this last 12 months as you can see we are up about 35% it is a very healthy trend we aren't getting too many uh, we aren't getting too many spikes like this um, this is just a very nice healthy trend if we do come back down uh, I think around 41 uh, 4050 to 41 would be a nice buy the dip location if you wanted to look at getting in and we'll take a look at APT Afterpay. I do have an entry here at 28.83. For those of you who are wondering what this red line is, uh, this is most likely going to trade sideways like we did back here in May. So if you are looking at getting in, just know that it's going to take a little bit of time to go higher. You just want to buy low and sell high with this one. So APT still most likely fairly fairly neutral at the moment but look to buy the dips let's take a look at crude oil now crude oil is looking pretty amazing right now as we finally had a strong close above this 200 simple moving average now hopefully we can grind higher on this one if we do i'd expect to pull back down to about the 200 and a nice long lower shadow and then uh, a look to buy the dip and bounce on higher um, but not a lot to look at here guys I did mention in my last review that this was still in an uptrend here and we were right at the bottom here so I was saying look out for a bounce and we did get a bounce and I hope some of you got to catch that move let's take a look at gold so gold is not doing a whole lot here guys I think that we will probably just chop around sideways here for quite some time unless something 
catastrophic happens in the market, I do believe that we are at a fairly decent value area and we'll probably just chop around sideways for quite some time before we do move higher by the looks of things. So not a whole lot to report on gold, guys. Just look to buy low, sell high. And that's all I've got to say about gold. Let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Now, the Aussie dollar having a very cute little retest, a little bearish flag, a little bearish flag action happening right there. And we could most likely look to go lower. So you can see here we do have some lows here at 6780, uh, around 6780. Uh, so if we can break those particular lows, guys, I do expect us to come back down to 67.50 and just chill. Just chill for a little bit. But that's all I've got for you today, guys. If you do want me to uh, take a look at any tickers, stock tickers, futures, commodities, forex, you name it, I'm the man to talk to. Hit me up, ricky at reallifetrading.com or leave a comment below. Get in our Facebook group below and I will definitely review the stocks that you ask in my next video next week. You guys rock and until next time, love life, live life and trade it. Have a great weekend. Bye.